I cannot wait to get this game underway. I'm sure everyone here can't wait to see who's going to pull this win out after the incredible series that we've had already. It's like we've been saying since the beginning, this could be a finals matchup. These teams are so strong, and I can't wait to see what they've picked in this third game blind pick match. Now, come on, ladies and gentlemen, this is game three of Halcyon Hammers versus TSM, so please make some noise for both teams because this is going to be one cracker of a game. So I'm really looking forward to this, and just to give you guys a bit of a run through for the uh, for the compositions we do actually have it was initially a mirror matchup but then Mixi said hey you know what I can play Vox better than Dienzio can <laughs> so I'm gonna pick that one up so Mixi's gonna be on the Vox Dienzio is gonna be in the Ringo but we're gonna be seeing Fortress v Fortress and Adagio v Adagio all right, we might see some action here as well as Flash X gets jumped on. Look at how much damage he's taking right off the bat. Dienzio finds the kill. Cole the Meek gonna be the next target. Veins and Dienzio want to hunt him down here. The Achilles shot slows him up. Cole the Meek doing some good damage back, but it's not gonna be enough right out of the gates. Velocity in this third game taking two quick kills. Wow, Velocity not afraid to make those early aggressive plays, and it's all thanks to this early game. Ringo doing so much work, and they're not done yet. Yeah, they're looking for Flash X yet again, trying to steal away these back camps at the same time. They've got to be a bit careful, though, as Flash X, he's going in. I don't know if he can actually pull this one off. The heal from Cole the Meek buys him some time, but Danzio gets the kill. Now Cole the Meek's in a bit of a tough spot. He's going to be taking a lot of damage. One or two more autos from Danzio could find it. Mixi, he's got to rotate down, but Aloha has his number. Cole the Meek, why are you going back into the jungle? No! Four kills now for Velocity in one and a half minutes. That is a ridiculous rate of destruction. So so velocity, they are definitely getting some serious speed and movement in this for, in this final game. That was an awful pun, but I'm gonna forget <laughs> it anyway. Aloha, he's actually taking quite a lot of damage up in the lane, but crazy start. Velocity doing a great job of utilizing the fact that Ringo is super strong in the early game, picking up those very early, uh, uh, getting that early weapon power to be able to deal for this one versus one. Aloha, Whoa, though. That's a lot of burst damage coming at Mixi and Flash X. They find that return kill. Veins wants a bit of damage himself, but can't do enough to get a kill. TSM, they finally get their first return kill. Yes, they do. Uh, they are able to catch out Aloha out of position uh -oh. just a little bit. Dienzio. Now the one being collapsed upon. Vayne seems to be careful. Yeah, he really does. He's gonna walk in that bush, face check it, and go down. Dienzio wants to turn this one around, though. Finds Flash X, gets he that can first win this. kill. He can win this. Cole the Meek is two levels lower than him. I don't see any hope for him to pull this kill off, especially with Aloha right there. Dienzio is 5-0 and 0 <laughs> in two minutes and 50 seconds. Is this, is this game two? I'm pretty sure this is a mirror <laughs> of what we saw in game two. It's this... way accelerated, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's six and two in the favor of red side, and the Ringo is five, zero, and one. This is exactly what we saw in game two. The big thing for Velocity now is to keep this momentum going. They have this Ringo who is super crazy strong in the early game. I've emphasized that so much because that is how they built up this advantage, uh, but for Team Solar Mid, they have the better scaling. There is no way that a Ringo is going to be a late game Vox, especially when you pair that with an Adagio. I tell you what, though, if Team Solar Mid lose this game, Mixi might be kicking himself for just hovering the Ringo and not picking not it up. We're going to see it. a fight, though. Flash X, look at the damage he's taking. Mixi as well. Call the Meek. Extremely low. Dienzio oh. has so much damage. What is going on right now? He just evaporates his targets. That's a quick kill going the way of Velocity, and they're going to use that, leverage it to get some jungle invade down. They certainly are. Wow. Moving this Ringo into the jungle just was such a smart decision from Velocity because it allowed them to use uh, the the early advantage that they would have over the Fortress and the Adagio, and it was just such a smart decision, and now they're just riding with this momentum. Oh. They're going for another fight. Oh, Flash X thought he'd caught Dienzio invading by himself, but he had backup from Veins. Dienzio is actually quite low this time. One or two more autos would do it, but Kolami can't find them. He's still level three. Veins coming through. That's another kill. Nine kills for Velocity. This is absolute insanity. Oh, Dienzio really stepping things up. He wants to show Mixi that he can play Ringo too, 
and he is doing a phenomenal job of it. It just seems like these teams really are Super Saiyans because when they get beaten down, they come back twice as strong it's in the next game. every anime ever. Every right? anime ever. The, the hero is beaten up <laughs> and then he's like, wait, I they got have a an secret weapon. They have an inspiring speech <laughs> yeah, where they yeah. sit there and go, I will not be defeated. <laughs> I will come back. And that is exactly what Velocity are doing right now. Nine to two in kills, 1.3k gold advantage ridiculous start for Velocity. I mean, the gold advantage isn't that huge, but the fact that it's all on D'Anzio kind of is. Yeah. Because he is going to be doing so much damage. Fountain of Renewal. Yeah, the Fountain of done. Renewal on Veins. That is, it's going to be hard to burn through that Here we go. in the game. Flash X wants to try his luck, though. Going for the engagement. Aloha's rotated down as well. Flash X, he only has one auto attack worth of health on him. D'Anzio gets, gets the it. Achilles shot. Veins, he wants more. Trying to find Cole Amik right now. I don't know if they're going to be able to do this one. Needs to land some kind of a slow, some kind of crowd control. Can they get on top of him? There's the Achilles shot. Look at the crits coming through. Big damage on Nicole Demik. He goes down. Michi is miles away from home. This is not where you want to be when you have no teammates left. He is just going to be able to get out of there and recall, though, because Velocity, they're going to prioritize pushing this lane out, getting the jungle invade. I think this is the smart thing to do. When you get kills in the early game, you have to take as many... Uh, objectives as you can and you I, personally I feel you have to consider these back camps to be objectives because of how important they are in the early game the amount of gold and experience that they provide if they get taken away from you you just lose so much off the back of it oh, oh. Flash, he doesn't quite get it it's gonna go the way of veins now he's in a tough spot yet again veins does have to be careful not to take too much damage there's wait for it onto dnzo and tsm do get away with their lives but they don't find the steal that they were looking for but look at this velocity they get the themselves the gold miner once again they're moving into tsm's jungle and just taking everything away very early reflex block picked up for dienzio he wants to try and mitigate some of the crowd control that's coming out from tsm largely for to deal with that verse of judgment that's likely to come out from cold the meek as the game progresses but now finally tsm they get a bit of counter jungling down themselves they're going to get a bit of extra farm and a bit of extra experience but look at cold the meek zero six and two he has been the guy that has suffered so much from these early plays from dienzio veins just tanking up that turret to get some early damage onto it flash x and cold the meek coming in from the backside of Velocity's jungle. They want to go for a fight. I don't know if they can pull this one off, though. Dienzio doesn't have a lot of energy, has taken a lot of damage, but Vayne still has that Fountain of Renewal, so he might be able to go for a cheeky play with that. Looks like both the teams just going to respect one another in this third game and back away for now. So Dienzio, he was sitting on 1,500 gold. That's enough for him to get himself the Sorrow Blade <laughs> at seven and a half minutes. No tension bow for him. He just wants to get stack, uh, stacking that weapon power as soon as possible crazy stuff from him. Wouldn't be surprised to see something like the Tyrant's Monocle come out next. May even see a double Tyrant's Monocle out of him. It's something that we have been seeing a lot when you get paired up with the Adagio. Something I just want to note as well is just how much money is on Dienzio compared to Cold Amik. 19 farm on Cold Amik to the 54 of Dienzio and there's 9 kills on Dienzio and none on Cold Amik. That is a tremendous lead at this point. All of the weight is being put onto Mixi right now. He's 1 0 0, 74 farm. He's decided to go for the weapon power Vox. So he's going to be hitting a spike a little bit sooner because you do get that uh, bonus weapon power from your overdriven ability. As well as that, you combine that with the Agent of Wrath from the Adagio, and you can hit a lot harder in the mid game. So you don't have to wait as long. It doesn't take as long to ramp up when you're playing this buff comp around the Adagio, but still, it, given the disparity between the two main carries, which are D Dienzio and Mixi, things still aren't looking great for TSM right now. And the thing is, Aloha is going to be buffing up Dienzio as well, so yes. both the carries are going to be hitting like trucks moving into the mid game. Mixi wants to try and clear this wave as quickly as possible, but Dienzio does find the turret. First of the game, going the way of Velocity in this final snatch. Oh man, it is... <laughs> It's going to be so hard for Team Solo Mid to just rally together and come back here. Thing is, you have to remember that both teams are still playing the same composition. It's all about 
killing Ringo and Vox. Whichever carry dies first will be the team that comes out ahead, and they might be looking for that fight oh, now. Flash X, he face-checked that bush, though, immediately gets blown up, whereas Veins had a window of opportunity there where he actually wasn't being targeted by anyone, so it was an easy pickup for DNZO. He is 10.02 right now, 12 kills to two in total for Velocity, and they're going to be looking to push down onto this second turret. The biggest thing there was the fact that Veins had both the Atlas Pauldron and the Fountain of Renault, but hang on a second, Velocity... Oh my god, the damn Damage, D'Enzio, look at him wipe the floor with TSM. He actually used Hellfire Brew on the turret, so it splashed to both people. Crazy plays out of him. Flash X wants to chance his luck with maybe a return here, but he doesn't get it. D'Enzio finds the turret. Massive 5,300 gold lead for Velocity, less than 10 minutes into the game. And they've just secured themselves another turret. Velocity have so much momentum right now. Dienzio 12, 0 and 2. He's rushed a bone saw. He wants to shred through Flash X. He can see the early armor that has been picked up by Team Solo mid. And even though there's not even that much, he just wants to get through it as quickly as he can. Not sure if I agree with it, but it's definitely working out for Dienzio so far. You know, it, it, you might not agree with it, but Dienzio is 12-0-2. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't care what you think. I'm 12-0-2. I'll build a... Well, in Venice, you could go Crystal Power as well. I mean, he could literally build whatever he wants at this point. I, I think he honestly could. At least unless Team Solo Mid can find some kind of reprieve in the next few minutes to just stall out the game, right? Yeah. Because if things keep going this way, the snowball is going to keep rolling. It's picking up quite a lot of just snow on the ground on the wintry Halcyon Fold map. Oh. Does look like Flash X taking a lot of damage. Oh, D'Enzio! You cannot run away from this guy. That is the end for Flash X. Flash and the dirt is gone. That's how quickly he disappeared <laughs> right there. Unable to deal with the damage coming out from D'Enzio. And I mean, I feel like we're a broken record right now. D'Enzio, D'Enzio, D'Enzio. But we can't hype this guy up enough. Well, I mean, there's no reason to talk about other people right <laughs> now. He is just destroying TSM. He is going to have to be careful. He takes a lot of damage Hellfire from the Brew. turret there. Hellfire Brew on a mix. He gets blocked by the Reflex block. Dendo is going to have to back away. Didn't spend as much time on the turret as maybe he should have there. He's going to regenerate a little bit of health with that shield. Velocity. Just going to play it safe. Have a look at the gold values right now, though. Quite a lot available on Dienzio and Veins. They're going to go back and pick up a couple of items. I have to keep an eye out on what they decide to pick up. Warhorn done for Veins, so you're going to see those engagements coming out a lot quicker. Dienzio deciding to go for Tier 2 Boots, as well as picking up that Burning Salvo. Ooh, oh, but have a look at this. Use them right here to get some damage down. Then Kite Bat, Flash X, likely to be the first target going down. Gets stunned up by oh. the Burst of Judgment. Cole the Meek is doing good damage here, though, and Dienzio is nowhere near the fight. Veins, he's got to be careful. He might go down. Dienzio, can he find this fight? Fight. He gets one more. Cole the Meek might go down. Velocity do it. They take the ace. And they're going to be doing a devastating push against Team Solo Mid's base. That was such a good fight. I really hope there's a replay of that after the game because that was phenomenal from both teams. So many small micro mechanical outplays. We saw the delayed verse of judgment coming out from uh, from. Uh, from Cull the Meek, that's the guy, <laughs> from Cull the Meek to actually zone away Dienzio from being able to do any damage. That allowed TSM to actually kill Aloha, so he was then unavailable to provide that support from Dienzio. But because Dienzio was so far ahead, he's still able to out 1v1 Mixi, and because of that, he's then in a position to clean up the fight, even without that support from Aloha. Fantastic fight between the two teams. It's somewhat deja vu, right? I mean, in game two, we saw Mixi not, or rather, uh, Dienzio doing quite well on the box, but not as well as Mixi's Ringo. Right now, we're going to see another fight, though. Flash X trying to dive into the back. Oh, he's Immediately gone. blown up. Cole the Meek, he can't get out of here. It's just a machine gun coming out of Dienzio. He picks up a second kill. Mixi, the last guy alive. I don't see a way out of this for him. He's going to try and make it, but Dienzio's damage is overwhelming right now. Mixi goes down. 21 kills to three. <laughs> Third seed Velocity might try and push for a turret here. Death Timers, it's still so early that they're not very long, though. They should be able to pick up this turret, but look at the massive minion wave. Could Velocity end the game oh, right now? they're gonna try and do it. They're on the Vein Crystal. Dienzio, he's getting healed up by Aloha. He's taking a lot of damage. He gets stunned up. He doesn't kite out of it. Aloha doesn't have the damage for the Crystal, but Vein's might. It's gonna go down. That's the Velocity. game! Ladies and...
and gentlemen, Velocity are going to take down the world champions, Team Solo Mid.